Soil testing is an important part of greenhouse crop production. I've asked Doug Cox from the University of Massachusetts, he's the greenhouse specialist, to talk about taking a soil sample and soil testing for greenhouse crop production. The leachate pour through method is another way of analyzing crops that you can use to either send a sample to a lab or do it for yourself. Uh, the, this particular method of uh, soil analysis doesn't disturb the plants and it's excellent for doing monitoring of nutrition during the growing season. However, it's not a particularly good way of just doing a casual sample every once in a while. The way that we do this is we select five plants out of a thousand, a minimum of five, and these would be the plants that you're going to continue to use throughout the growing season if you're going to do monitoring. How you do this is that you water your plants to saturation about an hour before the time that you want to do the test. So you water it to the point where there's water coming out of the bottom of the pot. You can use either fertilizer solution or you can use plain water. At the end of the hour, you take the pot and place it in the plastic saucer and then you apply water to the top. You want to apply enough, this should be distilled water, you want to apply enough so that you can collect 50 milliliters from the bottom of the pot. For a six inch pot like this one, it takes about two and a half fluid ounces of water to irrigate it to the point where it will begin to leach out and then you can expect to collect 50 milliliters. You fill the beaker up or measuring cup and see how much you got. Well I went a little overboard I got 75 milliliters out of this but that's okay. Then you're ready to do one of two things. You can analyze this with a pH pen or an EC pen, or you can send this to a lab and allow them to analyze it for EC, pH, and the other nutrients that you might be interested in. More information on soil sampling, soil testing, analysis and interpretation is available on the UMass Extension Greenhouse Crops and Floriculture website.